Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, just like I did yesterday, I'm going to be doing some tips and tricks um, for Hungry Shark. Well, this time it's Hungry Shark Evolution. So if you didn't know, um, this game is a, a lot harder. Well, not like necessarily like harder, but like it's a lot more annoying to le to like level up your sharks and progress in the game. Like unlike Hungry Shark World, like where you can level up like a lot faster than that. So step one. So like with starting off. So if you have the reef shark, so you just started off. So with the reef shark, um, what you want to do, you don't want to buy any upgrades for the reef shark. The reef shark does not need any upgrades at all. Um, the only reason I upgraded it to full was because this was like later on in the game, and I just decided to max it up because why not? But um, yeah, with this you do not need to put any upgrades on and you do not need to equip anything because there is just no point i mean it'd be quite i might do a video where i put like a bunch of stuff on this shark but that would just be funny but yeah anyway back to it. so yeah you you don't need to upgrade the shark or put anything on it but like but the same can't be said with the mako shark so with the mako shark um this this can be up to you. you can not put any upgrades on it but what i did i brought the baby um like the mako baby baby mako because for that stamina and i brought the hat what was the hat for i can't even remember yeah you get a couple more points and then paper clip i have on every shark after this because it's um of oh, the safety pin sorry just because um survival bonus um, so yeah, that's pretty much all you really need. You, I mean, if you had enough, you could put, like, a dog collar on or something. But yeah, you don't really need, like, much for the Mako shark. Um, hammerhead shark. So, with this, um, I know it has a bunch of stuff on it. It's because, um, I have the evolved version of it as well. Um, usually with this, um... You can have a little bit more upgrades probably. I wouldn't buy the baby because I'd save your gems because I'm pretty sure it's like yeah 20 gems, and the only and it gives you. I mean it gives you 20 percent more stamina, but like still it's not really like worth it unless you have the gems to spend. But really, all you want on the hammerhead shark is um you could use like a punk wig because um. It gives you more gold rush, and at this point is when you want to start like collecting gold and that. So that, so yeah, this is when you want to start collecting gold. So like that, so the punk wig would be really good, or the fez. I don't know how much these usually cost, but I would probably say try and get these, and then obviously you can like you you can get collars by this point. Um. I wouldn't get any eyepieces yet because they still cost quite a bit. Yeah, you can probably get like, I don't know, the, I, I usually get the F gold chain. But that's like the first like, neck piece I usually get. And then, just the same safety pin. This is all on my personal opinion by the way, you don't have to follow any of these. So yeah, with that, that's all you really need to do. Um. Right, Tiger Shark. Right, this is when the game starts to get quite grindy. So after you've got the Tiger Shark, you've got the Great White. And the Great White is 30,000 coins. So with the Tiger Shark, um, don't get the baby, there's no point. Um, with this, you're gonna want either extra gold, extra gold rush, sorry, or extra gold to get um like more gold and all that um i the eye patch you can get if you have enough gems for it because that gives you more gold um uh i still wouldn't really get them though because they're not that good but the f gold chain you would definitely want because it's only five gems and um 
it gives you more gold and all that. So that's oh yeah, that's good. Um Uh yeah, and then like just the same with like the safety pin and all that. I mean you can use um the bone and the price tag, but I use the safety pin for the survival bonus. Um oh yeah, I forgot to say, um the flat jacket and the antidote could be really helpful. Because obviously you can't eat mines and jellyfish yet. So yeah, they're quite useful. Alright. Great white. Um This is where the game starts to get quite like this is where the game gets a bit boring. Um Yeah, this is where like it keeps like the game gets quite boring and that. So obviously Um yeah, you're just going to do the exact same thing. I don't know why I keep going over this, but yeah, just do, like, but with these, um, I put, this is where I start get like, the eye patch, the monocle, um, the F gold chain, and all that. So, yeah, that's that. Um, Megalodon. Um, Megalodon just use the exact same thing that you use for Great White. Pretty much, yeah, just use the exact same thing. Alright, Big Daddy, this is where it changes up. Um, with Big Daddy, what you want to do, um, what most people do, you go straight, you go straight for Alan, sorry, Alan's over here. So yeah, what most people do, they go straight to Alan. Um, yeah, they go straight to Alan. I mean, not Alan, sorry, why am I saying Alan? Um, Mr. Snappy. Um, I, what I would say, do not go straight for Mr. Snappy. Because Big Daddy takes a long time to level up. Um, do not go straight for him. Just get, I'll save up for the Shark Vortex and then save up for Mr. Snappy. Alright, um, now this is where you'll probably see where I have the jetpack and all that. Um, while you're doing all these sharks try and do as many quests as possible you need to do 50 quests to unlock the jetpack and 75 for the missile launcher but the missile launcher really you don't need you can just use a laser which is 75k oh yeah i forgot to say yeah about mr snappy as well get the laser it will help you out a lot because it stuns enemies um, Alan, just do the exact same as with Mr. Snappy, just use all the exact same things. Moby Dick, the exact same thing. Leo, um, pretty much the exact same thing, but Leo's really good for getting gold because when you boost, he does, like, an extra vortex. Um, Nessie, when you're in gold rush, um, uh, if, th try and look around for any, um, any like big sharks to eat if there's none just go into your teleporter and um that's pretty much it um shark jira um with shark jira pretty much the exact same thing try i know it's like fun going on land but really it doesn't really help you that much unless you're doing the challenge um I will cover the rest of these sharks though, when um, except the special sharks because there's not there's not it's not really much attack to them because they all have different abilities. But when I unlock Behemoth, Luminite, Kraken, and Abyss Shark, I will cover all them in a part two. But yeah, um, right quickly, um, this video is really long. Um, with the evolved ones, just pretty much. Do the exact same thing as like like shark vortex and all that. If you have any other things to put on, just put them on. Same with um, what's it called? Tiger shark. Just do the exact same thing. Even though, what is it? I found I found shark and really annoying to level up. But yeah, just do the exact same thing. So um, now let's do what you do in the game. So let me get into a game. Um, you'll probably wonder why I'm not using Sharp Jira. It's because of the current challenge that's going around with the um, jellyfish. So, um, what you want to do in the game 
So, say if there's any like um anything that that um say if, so if there's anything bigger than you, what you want to do? Try your best to stick around it. Make sure you don't get eaten by it, but stick around around it as much as you can. So and um. When you get gold rush, just instantly just go down for it. Ignore all the fish around you, just go straight for them because it will give you more gold and um, it will give you um, obviously a lot of points and the extra points is you have like times 96 and that. So yeah, I, that's what I do. Um, same with boats, if there's any like boats and that. Oh, uh, wait till you're in gold rush because they will give you a lot more points. Um, trying to think what else. Um, oh yeah. Um, I know with like the sharks and all that. Like once you get to Megalodon, you can like go across on land. It's not worth it because, like, it's only really like worth it. Like the um, it's only worth it at the beginning of the game. But when you get to about like eight minutes, your health drain gets like so bad that you'll just end up dying. So it's just not worth it. Um, what other things can you do? Oh yeah, sunken objects. Um, if you're thinking about doing them for like extra boost and all that, don't really worry because they don't give you much extra boost. Um, they don't like give you like much extra coins and points and it's just not really worth it unless you're doing it for a challenge for jetpack or missile launcher. Um yeah that's pretty much it. Um trying to think. Oh yeah, um different levels. Um the old Arctic map used to be amazing for points. So this is if you want to get a ton of points. Like I said, use the you earlier. If you look like I just did on Behemoth. I at him same with Nessie, and I'm pretty sure there's a Kraken down here. Yep. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Yeah, um. Yeah, the best place to get a high score now is, um. On, is the main map. Um. The other maps aren't that good. Well, Hawaii's good. Um. In Gold Rush, just get all the stars. Especially, like, the main stars where it says Welcome to Hawaii. It, it gives you so many points in Gold Rush. Um, oh yeah, so when you have the jetpack, um, it can be fun and all that, but um, it's not really like, it, it wastes a bunch of time, it doesn't give you that many good points, and it, and like your health goes down so much when you're in space, so it's not really worth it that much. Um, so I don't, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I'm sorry if this video was a bit boring or long. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye